Hi, I'm Eric Haney here with Rob Mochman from Haney Reels, and Rob is going to demonstrate how easy it is to install utility rollers on a Haney Reel. So, Rob, I said it was easy, but there are a lot of parts on the table here. How is it going to happen here? Eric, what I've done is I've laid out all the parts just to make sure everything is here. We have right-hand versions, we have left-hand components to this, uh, to this bracket. Um, basically, the nuts and bolts I'm going to take and just set off to the side so we can orient them, just make sure we keep track of what, what, what nuts and bolts are going to each. Each one is a 3 eighths, either a 3 quarter inch, inch and a quarter, and or an inch and a half bolt. I'm going to take and start with the first bracket, basically. It is, a, like I said earlier, it's a right hand and or left hand okay. oriented. There's a left and it, a right. Yeah. It can be used on both a electric rewind and or a manual hand crank reel. We'll do the first bracket install. This. Okay, Rob, it looks like you've got the uh, side uh, brackets mounted now. Are yes, they do. finger tight or did you tighten them down? Nope, they are finger tight at the moment. Okay. Just in case we have to do a little uh, light adjustment afterwards. Okay. I'm going to get ready to take and install the lower block. So the, the orientation uh, of this block should be apparent, but you're going to need a hole pointing to the inside and a hole pointing up. That is That's correct. That's where your roller rod is going to lie. Yes, okay. sir. That is correct. What we'll do is... And you're just going finger tight. Awkward angle here, but I'll get out of your way. What we will do is set this second one finger tight. We get ready to install the lower roller. I'll put him in place here. I'll bring him over in place. Finger tight again. Best that we can. Now we can place our two vertical rollers. These are the two inch style. Okay. Set. That's not quite as awkward. That looks a little easier. Not now. too bad. Okay. Basically, we'll set the second roller and block. We have a cross brace that goes across the back. We could take in. I'll tell you what, if you don't mind, yep, I will hold that, hold that for you. Sure. I'm going to use the longer bolt up at the top of that. Okay. Okay. This one got my longer bolt here. Finger tight again. Okay, we're not tightening anything yet. No. Nope. We can take and check just to make sure it's square in place. I will start at the bottom, work my way in. I'm going to start tightening from the bottom. Looks like we are pretty good. Okay, Rob, so it looks at this point like you've uh, completely tightened up the uh, upright brackets. Everything up here is still finger tight. That is correct. And now I presume you need to put the uh, fourth and we final roller on. That is correct. Okay. We still have to add the last roller. Squeeze him in place. And now... I imagine you want to check for squareness. Yes, we do. Okay. And now we can take and just go a little bit tighter just to keep everybody concentric. And now we can check for squareness. Okay. I will take this to start. Tighten up the bottom. I like to tighten up from the bottom up. Again, make sure the blocks are square. Rollers turn. Looks pretty square there. And the final bolt being tight. Our roller assembly is now installed.